Welcome to the Skyrim Special Edition modded gameplay. I'm the Orc, and today we're going to be looking at one of the best follower mods, in my opinion, and that's this guy, Lucian Flavius, into the game. So I was uh, just roaming around here on the island of Wormstooth, which is another mod that I downloaded. If you haven't checked it out yet, I would highly recommend it already played through the main story and there are just a lot of side quests that can be completed here. So I was busy doing that and um, you see and informed me because if you uh, if you've downloaded the mod and you've played a bit through it you would already know eventually you help them clear a Demir, Demir ruin and he basically creates a home inside the ruin. So I was busy exploring this island when he informed me that his assistant actually told them that there were intruders in the ruin or that the ruin was under attack. I'm not exactly sure, but he was very secretive of this assistant that he has. So quite interested to go check that out and see exactly what is going on there. First, just got to get off this island. But I have to go back to Skyrim and then to Solstein because this ruin I'm talking about is actually on the island of Solstein. Okay, so we're here in Solstein. Just got to go to this ruin now. And we're going to try to pronounce that but right here on the map. Also, if uh, you part ways with Lucien, then this is where you will find him. You want him to follow you again. <laughs> I have to say, Lucien is actually one of the best followers that I um, that I found on the mod for Skyrim. He just has a lot of quests, and I don't know, he's, he's an interesting character overall. You can actually train him and. For those Witcher fans, he kind of reminds me of Dandelion or Yaskir. You can even have him sing a couple of songs, so... If you're planning on doing a Geralt of Rivia build, I would highly recommend you get this mod. So let's see what's going on. Master Flavius, it is good you have returned. The gate opened without warning and... Ah, you brought help. Okay. So, uh, surprise! I'd introduce you, but we're all already acquainted. In case it isn't obvious, this is Doom's Bafar. Say hello, uh, Doom's This is not a good idea, Lucien. Hello, Doom's Bafar. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, gets me every time. So this was basically a murder. Wow, this was somewhat. Like, or what? Kind of Daedra. Okay, let's see what's going on here. How are you still alive? The machine you destroyed before was simply a shell. My consciousness has housed people within the vicinity and is considerably more durable. Master Flavius constructed me this perambulatory unit as a new interface with the world. It cannot leave the facility, but the level of freedom is gratifying. That's an important one. Are you going to try and kill me again? Negative. Master Flavius has installed new directives preventing me from doing so. And you have something to say, don't you, Dooms Bathar? Yes. I am. Sorry. So he's basically a prisoner. Sorry so. for what? Sorry for trying to murder you and possess your corpse. There we are. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Oh dear. It would appear we have company. There you are! How sure can we be that he's not going to try and escape again? Hey. This is over. Oh, no. Is he shooting at Serrano? Is he shooting at me? Yeah, 
right. Come on then. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure, they ran off. Just take care of this quickly. Do I actually want to bring that axe? She resisted it. He did it. Okay, good. Get off. Something on your mind? Oh, please, give me all the good stuff. There we go. What why? Is that? I'm not sure why I tried to attack the bird. Oh well. Okay, so let's see what's going on. It would seem that while we have been wasting time and apologies, our more pressing concern has caught up with us. Tell me exactly what's happening here. Master Flood has left me to monitor the facility while he was away with you. During his absence, the facility's oblivion gets activated unexpectedly, releasing a number of my dangerous brethren into the pool. Fortunately, the power surge was temporary, and I was successful in closing the gate again before too many were able to come through. I don't know. This However, is the laboratory is currently overrun with danger, and the constraints Master Flavi has placed on me prevent me from repelling them by force. Thus, I activated the emergency warning, calling the two of you here. Now, I suggest you make this. My less sophisticated brothers and sisters may have already caused considerable damage to Master Flavius' equipment. I will remain here to deal with any further outriders. Good luck, fleshlings. Try not to leak too much blood onto my mechanisms. actually on his side now, maybe he's programming it's not gonna screw us over this time still don't trust him though the machine and the like constraints it's the only thing keeping him from not trying to kill and possess us again the like Daedric's soul inside of him I still very much want to do that. Let's get them quickly. There we go. Already looted this chest. First time I came through here. It's, it's not useful to me, so just left it there. to what what does these guys have on their corpses I take the day draw hard because kind of rare so should probably take that bow and give it to Lucian as well to drop something at least I don't know why but I'm what I'm carrying that's so heavy I have this even so I'm drop that By the way, I've leveled this character the last like day or two days. I've been power leveling this character to get him above 80. So I'm planning on fighting the Ebony Warrior. If I was wanting to make a video on that, I would be happy to. I've actually fought the Ebony Warrior and I've been playing this game for years. Like, I think I've played it about 10 years, as old as this game is. Because usually before my character gets to level 80, I get bored and I create a new character and... That's just how I play this game. Some 
Nice equipment on me. I get if uh, one of them has like a uh, one handed equipment that would be that would be useful. But they're all like two handed. I'm uh, not using two handed weapons on this character. Oh no, what the hell is this? You want me to ride you? Will you please tell me we're going to I'm afraid to you'll have gate. to show me how. Here goes nothing. Is he gonna learn to ride now? <laughs> Look at that! I'm riding! He's showing me how! Well, I'm what do you know? Anything. The things you find in a Dwemer ruin. Okay, sure. So, I have a horse now. What do you think? You mean you have a Daedra? A Daedra? Oh no, he may have come through the gate, but Clive here isn't a Daedra. Trust me, I can tell. Clive. Yes, Clive. It's his name. Or at least, that's what he told me. Talking to a horse. The horse told you its name was Clive. Yes. Didn't you hear it? I only heard you. Interesting. It must just be in my head then. I'm still working it out, but Clive is special. He isn't a Daedra, but he's not just an ordinary horse. He and I are linked somehow. I can understand what he's trying to say to me, and he says he wants to travel with us. Not sure how we'll get him out of here. Oh, we'll Clive says he'll make his own way. He might not always be walking alongside us, but he says whenever I need him, he'll be there. Isn't that handy? 
I think Clive and I are going to be great friends. That would be cool though. It's probably going to happen if when I mount a horse and Clive is going to appear. So that would be good. Let's see. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. And thank you for helping me out today. I really am sorry for not telling you about Dooms Bazaar before, but I couldn't have dealt with the Daedra today without your help. You're a good friend, truly. Now, enough chattering. Where are we off to next? Well, I'm probably back to Wormstooth. I can't believe you did this, Lucian. I know, I know. You're upset that I brought Dooms Bazaar back, aren't you? It's not actually that he brought him back because he's looks like he's useful now, so it's more that you lied to me about it. I really am sorry. It's just I didn't know how you'd react. He tried to kill us and to possess you and, and you I suppose deep down I knew it was a questionable call, and I didn't want you to hate me for it. I just needed the help and an intelligence like that, with all his knowledge of the past, of the Dwemer, I couldn't just leave him. Surely you can understand that. Uh, sure. I understand. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. I've been so worried not telling you. I just, you just didn't really down. know how to handle it. I'm sorry, and I promise never to keep anything from <laughs> you like this ever again. Now, you and I have adventures to go on. People to save, monsters to slay. Shall we get to it? I wonder if I can train Excellent. a bit more. I've yes. been looking forward to this. What shall we work on this time? So you can actually decide what you want to work on. Teach him a spell, improve his sneak, some restoration or illusion magic. Um, because Restoration, Illusion, One-Handed Block, and Archery are actually some of my main focuses on this build, so I'm guessing that's why they are specifically here. And I've been working on his Archery quite a bit, because I mainly use him as an Archer. But I think, for now... They'll never see me to coming. Sneak. Shh. Quiet, Lucian. Sneaky, Lucian. So, what's next? That appears to be that. Another thing that's really cool about Lucian, and uh, you can actually download updates for him, or like patches, that includes lines of dialogue for a lot of other mods. I think for Wormstooth there's one as well. I might go ahead and download that. Then, How can you I actually help you? comment on a lot of the quests that you're doing, like you can see down here, if the, I can ask him about the Sigic Order. That's because I was busy with the College of Winterhold questline, where the Sigic Order actually speaks to you and... I don't know, it's quite a Let's keep moving, follower. just it's carefully, alright? But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. I might make a, make a bit more videos on Wormstooth, on the side quests. Or if you want to, enough if you want to see it, I'd actually do a full playthrough of Skyrim. Uh, a modded playthrough, of course, just to keep things a bit interesting. But I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next one.